Hey, what's up you guys? It's Austin of The Lone Few, and today I'm back with some more Mono Remastered secret spots. This time we're looking through the variety map pack. Those would be the maps Kill House, Creek, Broadcast, and Chinatown. And just as a reminder, these are all spots that are available within core game mode. There's a bunch of other stuff that is possible in old school, but the point of these videos is to show you stuff that you can get done in regular matches. If you'd like to skip to a specific map, there's time codes down in the description. You can click away. If not, we're about to jump right into it. Here we go. Now, starting out on Creek, this is right next to, I believe, the SAS spawn. Uh, if you come up on top of this cliff side, you can uh, actually, it's a pretty simple jump to get over onto this, uh, this little overhang, this tin roof. Um, you have some nice lines of sight on here, not too much cover at all, but, you know, not many of these things really ever do. Uh, you know, you can get jump on people from down below, uh, or get a jump on people who are down below, rather. Uh, very, very nice. Then, if you hop into the main building on the other side of the map, go up into the attic, you can actually get on top of the roof uh, of this building. So you're going to see Shane does this first, and then I'm going to follow him in a second. You just kind of have to jump up on top of this little uh, half wall, and then really not even any kind of jump. Uh, I, I believe you can just really fall down on top of it. Uh, you know, j just do as we do. Very, very simple thing. You can see basically the entire map from here. Great lines of sight, as you know you would hope, since you're right in the middle of the entire map. Uh, some decent cover because you actually have the roofing there to uh, to hide behind. Very reminiscent of uh, of all those spots on Overgrown, uh, where you can basically run around the entire map. Then also just in the attic, I figured I'd throw this in because uh, uh, you know it's here. Uh, you can also get on top of all these support beams, and by all these support beams, I mean all of these support beams, every single one. For some reason, if you'd want to. Uh, if you crouch, you can go all the way up to the top. Uh, if you don't crouch, you can go halfway up um, if you'd like to. Uh, maybe you can, you know, if there's someone who keeps running up and trying to get in this building, uh, you, can, you can hop on one of these uh, support beams, get him when he tries climbing those stairs. Um, yeah, could, could be useful. And then lastly, on Creek, uh, if you come back into the barn and then hop onto these uh, pallets, and from the pallets up, uh, up onto this little ledge, you can kind of navigate your way uh, across this wall. Uh, not really too, too much to do here. Uh, if you have a sniper rifle, I'm sure you can get a decent line of sight through here. No one really expected you to be, uh, you know, this, uh, this high up in the barn. You cannot go to the other walls, unfortunately. You just kind of fall off, but you know, it's, it's there. And now moving over to broadcast, there are a bunch of these vending machines that you can hop up on top of. Uh, just follow the steps that, you know, you see in the video, get up on top of them. Uh, they're kind of just easy ways to get jump on people, uh, similar to that last spot on Creek. Uh, for this one, you just uh, hop up onto the, cr uh, onto the couch, uh, do a little bit, not really even a strafe jump, uh, just kind of finagle your way on. None of these are too, too difficult. Uh, for this one, is probably the easiest one, get on top of the vending machines, and you can also kind of wedge yourself uh, in this doorway, just kind of have to sprint, jump, lunge yourself at that TV, uh, and you can get right on uh, right on up here. I um, mean, then also, actually, from the vending machines, uh, if you go off to the left, you can also watch yourself on top of this television over here. You can use the column as cover, take out dudes that are coming down that hallway, you know, whatever you want to do, uh, you can do it from up here. And now this one is less of a jump or a bit of a parkour, but instead just kind of a, a nice little place to hide where you aren't entirely visible, uh, or at least not right away. Uh, just kind of follow the steps that we have, and you can kind of just hide back behind these lights. Uh, could be very useful for Michael Myers just as a hiding spot, as there aren't really too many places to full-on hide on this map. Uh, this is one of them. Coming out onto the roof, you can get on top of this doorway. Uh, all you have to do is hop up onto the AC unit, jump on over to the other one, uh, and then onto the door. Uh, then you can go on either doors. I would recommend the second one that we jumped to, the one on the left. Um, and yeah, it's it's similar to the to the vending machines in that uh, people are going to see you, but uh, you know the the hope is that uh, you see them before they see you, and you get a little bit of an advantage. And now moving outside, if you go over to this tanker and climb the ladder on top, you can very easily get onto this overhang over here. Uh, it's kind of directly in the center of the map. If there's anyone upstairs in those buildings, they have a, a direct line of sight at you. Um, this is the sort of thing that might be good for Michael Myers if uh, Michael Myers has no idea how to, how to get up here. Uh, from that uh, overhang, you can also hop out uh, and get onto the ledge over on this building too. Easy access if there's someone camping up there. Um, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty solid. And then in the same general area, in fact, I think this is the exact same building, uh, if you hop up onto that smaller dumpster, jump on over to this fence, and uh, suddenly you have a bigger dumpster right there at your disposal. 
I didn't mean to make a pun there. Uh, you can hop on right up into it, uh, hang out, and uh, yeah, go, uh, go dumpster diving. Next up is Chinatown, and unfortunately, Chinatown doesn't really have too many spots. In fact, this DLC in general, they really didn't have all that many spots. Uh, but if you go up into this window and then jump your way over to this ledge, uh, you can hang out on this ledge. Uh, you can also get on top of that sign uh, that right now is right behind. Uh, yeah, that, that's right there, the one that says uh, uh, discount imports. You can also get on top of that sign. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get any footage of it, but uh, if you just you know aim for that sign instead of the ledge, you'll get up on there. I also figured I'd leave this in here, just in case you didn't know. Uh, you can hop up on top of these, uh, or on top of this fence, rather. Um, not really much you can do up on here, but uh, it is some hardcore parkour that you can get done. And now, similar to those vending machines on uh, broadcast, uh, this is another one that's kind of like indoors that you can get up on top of uh, to get the jump on people. Uh, kind of just follow the steps that we did just in this video off the railing up onto this bookcase. Uh, very, very simple. Uh, it could be useful, could not be. You know, it, it, you get what you put into it. And then lastly, if you kind of just keep jumping up and at and, you know, sliding up and down these uh, these boards over here, eventually you should be able to kind of wedge yourself on top of this barrel. It, 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 there's pretty much no use to it unless you wanted to camp in that corner and you previously couldn't because there was a barrel in your way. Um, other than that, not that useful at all. Uh, sorry, Chinatown just sucks. And lastly, we have Kill House, and Kill House is a small map, uh, and there's some places you can go, but it is a very small, confined place uh, with not too too much going on. Um, you can get up on top of all these shipping containers, uh, you know, follow the steps that we have. You can hop up onto the chair. Uh, you can also hop up onto the camera if you'd like. Um, there used to be a way, I believe, of climbing the wall off of that camera, uh, but at least in core, you cannot anymore, unfortunately. Um, you, like, like I said, you can hop on over to this container as well if you'd like. Basically, if it looks like you can jump over onto it, you can. And in fact, you can also just mantle up onto this wall over here, and there's this kind of uh, this metal support over here that you can take cover behind. Uh, I'm imagining a sniper rifle. You can get uh, a decent, uh, some, some decent lines of sight down to the other spawn uh, from here. And guys, that will do it for this episode of Secret Spots and Mono for Remastered. I hope you enjoyed. I apologize that there really weren't all that many spots in this map pack or at least not in core, we might go back and make some videos in in old school mode. We'll have to see, you know, what people want. So right now you should see two videos in the bottom left and bottom right. You can go check those out if you'd like. If not, be sure to subscribe to uh, The Lone Few on YouTube. We do a bunch of videos, Call of Duty, in Grand Theft Auto. Uh, we've been getting really into uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. So yeah, that'll be it for today. And I'll uh, see you guys when I see you guys. So see you guys. Peace.